I just want us to look at everyone's faces. It's like they can't stand to see me doing anything enjoyable. So rather than falling back and leaving me to my own devices, they stalk us, Xavier and I, and try to say stuff. I checked on the kids. Xavier went to work. Do a self care day here on the stoop at Chase Bank. Just still sitting in the same spot, documenting the same shit, going on and on. So, with the exception of being used for sex blatantly, I've never experienced such a degrading feeling, an inhumane feeling as being left outside to sleep, forgotten, feeling like no one gives a fuck. It's dirty, there's nowhere to shower. So I glammed myself up a bit. It's been three nights consecutively outside. And you guys know that for the past three years, this has been an ongoing situation for me um, that all started with the stabbings in 2019. Uh, again, I've never been a victim of any sort of physical assault prior to Dylan's release. So after being promised again that we would go inside, I had to sleep outside again last night on the stairs to a church. I'm going to pass around promotional material about the occurrences to various neighborhoods in Chicago today. And that's the update. Do you want to be on camera, Xavier? Yeah. What's up, DTLA? No. DTFU. We stopped to get a hot feed before we go. I'm going to eat today, guys. Somebody keeps mixing my brown with red. I don't hate it. I kind of like it. It's kind of growing on me.